For YouTube today at uh, powerjackrepair.org, we got an Asus laptop and uh, the most common problem with the Asus UX501J or Asus laptops in general is this connector right here. As you can see right there, uh, you see metal pins. Those metal pins should be covered by, by that uh, black plastic cover, the circle cover. Instead, it, they are, the plastic cover is broken and the pins are exposed and that's the reason why there is no power to the motherboard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this guy and put this connector in place. All right, so I insulated the area on the top and bottom so that none of the components will fly off the motherboard. When we're gonna be using the hot air to desolder this connector, let's desolder the connector. All right, add some flux here, here, here and there. And then we're gonna add some, um, some solder to to penetrate this solder let's add some solder right, so let's add some hot air the leaded base solder gonna mix with the unleaded base solder and that way we're not gonna melt the the motherboard basically the temperature of the the solder temperature we're gonna drop and we're gonna be able to take it out of there in no time well not exactly no time. All right, so the reason why it doesn't want to come out because the bottom of the side, the bottom side is not penetrated with the solder. I will add some solder to the bottom. All right. Some solder right there. I mean, technically, here, just that center, center. Technically, uh, if I had more hot air, higher temperature on the hot air, it's gonna be much faster. It's gonna come out much, much, much faster. So. But instead of adding more temperature, I'm just gonna. All right, so it should gone. You see, came out one, two, three, and we are off. All right, good job. So now we set this guy aside, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna suck all the solder. <laughs> We're gonna suck all the solder from the motherboard. Like that. Like that. All right, good job. Excellent, one more. Good job. Excellent. Beautiful. All right, all right. <coughs> now let me show you the differences under the microscope. Well, I wanna make sure that So you got all the solder out. Here, let me show you the differences, how they're supposed to look like and how they look like. 
All right. So this is a brand new connector. This is the one that we removed from there. They are both identical pretty much. I do them every single day, all day, every day. And this is the way how they supposed to look like. Basically, as you can see, the black piece is holding those pins together. Once the pins are not held together, they get separated and they don't conduct the electricity anymore the way how you want it to conduct, basically, you see? They kind of... This guy spreads apart too much, so the, when the pin comes in here, it doesn't make a good contact with this pin. This is the center pin. And then this is the positive and this is the positive. So those two springs, they spring together. Oh, you know what? They could short the motherboard as well when we do plus like that with, the, with this guy. Data signal, something on the motherboard much, much short. So we're going to put the new connector in and hope that everything going to work fine. Before we're going to put the connector in, we're going to put some flux so that the flux will penetrate the traces. And now on top of the flux, we're going to put the new connector. We're going to put the new connector. And we're going to put the new connector right here. Like that. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's hang it like that. And now let's... All right, now let's solder it in place. Beautiful, beautiful. Really nice. All right, amazing. Good job. Now let's flip it over. And let's solder it from this end. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good job. I can see it there. Let me, let me. All right. Good job. Good job now. All right, so let's inspect under the microscope that everything is soldered fine. Yep. And you see none of the pieces are missing from this side. And we can inspect the bottom side in a second. All right, let's clean this guy up. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. All right. Let's flip this guy over. That the black piece that has three connections in the back, right here, it has tendencies to fly off the motherboard. So, what you need to do is you need to solder three pieces here, here, and here. So, this guy always gonna fly off the motherboard if you don't do it every single day. So, don't lose this guy, all right? So, again, looks like everything's soldered fine right there. We're gonna clean this guy up here. We're gonna clean the connector a bit more. All right, and then we're gonna dry it. All right, let's remove. All righty. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. All right, so that's the most common repair on Asus laptops, and that's the reason why they always break, because uh, the connector itself is uh, basically not... All right, so here, you see, we got the black piece in, and everything should be good. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and you guys take care and have a good day. Thank you.
Well, before we're going to say our goodbyes, again, just wanted to show you the old connector that has the broken plastic circle. That's the new connector. And the black plastic circle is right there. Next thing I want to do is I need to plug in the plug. All right, let's try this plug right here. All right, the plug goes in just fine. I can feel the spring springing. Let's make sure it's going to conduct the electricity through. All right, minuses are fine. Pluses are fine. And we should be good. So here, let's see if we can get, yeah. So we can get the current all the way to the resistor right here. So it's going to go through these guys here, here, here. And then once it's all dries, I will need to test it on the power. But it seems like it's going to be all right. Because if it's not going to be all right, we're going to have a shortage right here usually. And we don't have a shortage here, so it should be good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe. And you guys take care and have a good day. All right, so we have to clean up the desk as well. I forgot to show you that I did put the rubber piece here, the one I removed. So it looks like factory. So nothing is shorting anywhere. All right. The reason you remove the rubber piece here is so that uh, it's not going to be melted away because it's going to stink 